Good morning, LEGO fans. I am Brickwise, and today we are going to do a review on, on this uh, Marvel, LEGO Marvel Spidey and his amazing friends. Uh, this is set number 10782. It's called Hulk vs. Rhino Truck Showdown. 110 pieces and a 4 plus set. It comes with Rhino, Spidey, and Hulk, and a myriad of other uh, cool uh, items on here, as you can see from the front. It is built in behind the box. Uh, but I will just mention that uh, this is a sh based after a show on Disney Junior, which is also on Disney Plus. So here is the set, and uh, inside it came with uh, two bags. Uh, comes with I'm gonna come a little bit closer here. Uh, so it comes with Hulk and a Hulk mobile. Comes with a bank vault. That Rhino can try to get in. Comes with Rhino and a Rhino Mobile. Uh, comes with one of the new style spider webs for this set. A trash can with a hot dog in it and Spider Man in a flyer. So we'll look at each one of these pieces individually. So we'll start with Hulk here. Uh, so Hulk has his. Uh, first off, I'm, I'm going to show you one thing. So Spider Man it does have short. Uh, short legs. Uh, Hulk does not. So Hulk is normal, normal sized legs. But although Spider Man has the the short uh, legs, he is they are fully articulated. Uh, now this is mostly uh, because they are kids in the show. So I'll keep that in mind. And he goes by Spidey in the show. Oops. Uh, so Hulk has two separate faces, uh, face options here. And, uh, and then his hair that goes on top to hide the, the extra face. Uh, he does have printing on both the, the back and the front. And then his Hulkmobile, oops, his Hulkmobile comes with a couple of these. Now, if, if you've had, if you've seen the bigger version of Hulk, these are the hands that he actually has on, uh, on the bigger version. Uh, he's got a neat little glass part here, some exhaust that comes out the side, and then uh, purple purple wheels. Uh, he also has this clip on the back that you could utilize uh, on the spider web, the, the clip to have maybe Spider-Man hold on. It shows this on the, on the back, but Spider-Man maybe hold on here. Oops. In his, uh, in his flyer uh, to help him go on so uh, that's kind of a, a neat uh, option or idea on there uh, or if someone else got in you can clip it to the back and capture them or if hulk is getting uh, out of control or something like that in uh, in your playtime you could put this on have it come over and capture hulk inside his vehicle so that is hulk and uh, we'll go straight to Spider-Man now. So uh, Spider-Man is the only one of his amazing friends that is in this set. Uh, the flyer does, you push these and they shoot, sort of. Um, it's better if it's this way, I guess. So there, it does say, you know, of course, be careful of, of uh, eyes and stuff like that. These don't shoot very hard. Maybe if you pushed them really hard, it would uh, it would make a difference. But that's the, the flyer for Spider-Man. Then you've got Rhino in his in his vehicle here. Uh, you've kind of got the same thing. You have this little clip on the oops. Well, we'll show Rhino first. So you got Rhino, he's this uh, big old helmet here is pretty neat. He only has one face, but he does have a uh, one face option, but he does have printing on the back and the front. And then the, the helmet's pretty neat. It's got the rhino horns on the top and it encompasses his full shoulders to make him certainly look a lot better, but still gives the ability for him to articulate his, uh, his hands. Uh, also, his legs are adult-sized legs as well. So if you put him in the Rhino Mobile, uh, same type of thing happens with these new webs. Oops. Uh, you can have it attach and cover Rhino inside there. Uh, one of the neat things, so this is printing. There's no stickers involved in this set. It is a four plus set, so it's pretty normal. 
uh, but there is no stickers. It has this uh, printing on the front, uh, but this piece is particularly neat. I have not seen it before. I don't know if it's new, uh, but it is a neat uh, piece that to put on the front as a, as a rhino horn for the vehicle. Uh, it is also, it's not the hard plastic as most of it. It is somewhat flexible. I wouldn't uh, necessarily try to flex it too much, but uh, but that is why now the back of Rhino's vehicle opens because there is also this vault that comes with this. The vault part just kind of slides out of there. It has uh, jewels. My son put both of the jewels. One of them is technically extra uh, and a gold bar. And then you can have Rhino slip that in uh, in the back. Um, though I will say, uh, there is one thing, it doesn't really slip in like that, you have to put it in like this, so keep that in mind. I think on the, on the back of the box it does show I'm actually slipping it in the other way, but you put it in like that, it stays in uh, perfect on there, but it won't really fit in like that, so you have to slip it that way. Uh, you could do it, I guess, the other way where this is pointed out, if you want the smoother See, it's, there we go. If you wanted the smoother uh, area right there, but uh, overall, that is what you do there. And then this thing, not really much else to say on that. And then, lastly, there is a trash can with a hot dog in it for some reason. Um, you could play with the hot dog in a different way, of course, but uh, one thing I'll point out with these uh, with these new webs, though, now it only comes with the one, but if you do have another set, uh, one, like the Miles Morales one comes with a red one, and the Doc Ock Lab comes with this pink one for Ghost Spider, or Ghosty, uh, as the show has it, you can clip them together, and you can put a villain inside to trap them, so that's kind of a, a neat... Uh, part in there. Of course, again, this set does not come with the pink one, just the just the white one. And we'll have reviews for the other, for two of the other ones uh, up as well. So make sure to watch those in the coming days. But that's pretty, oh, uh, one additional thing, the manuals. So the manuals, there's two of them because there's two bags. For these four plus sets that started last year, the manuals are set up in a really cool way uh, where they have on each page is its own step. So in this page, it says you need to make sure to grab these three pieces. They don't do, even though there's two of the same one, they don't do a multiple of two. And then they highlight, come on, focus. They highlight exactly where it is uh, on there. And then you can see on the bottom, uh, Hulk walking across. Uh, and the other one, it's Rhino walking across. And as you go further, Hulk gets further on. The windshield, you put it there. So these manuals are really cool, really easy to use. The only thing that I've had to help my son with is putting the uh, axles in the wheels themselves. Um, or not the axles, but the uh, the rims in the wheels themselves. That's still hard for him, but everything else he's able to do 100% by himself with these four plus sets and the way those instructions are set up. So with that being said, that is it. I want to remind you all, subscribe to BrickWise and make sure to throw a like on this video, and uh, throw a comment down below if, uh, if there's anything you want to add or anything I missed uh, or any additional comments you'd like to, to see on there. So with that being said, thank you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.